Hey everybody, this is Savage Y Panda here, here to bring you Beelzebub chapter 161. And this was actually an okay chapter. Like, um, I quite enjoyed this one. Um, it started off with um, Ogre and all them. Uh, Ogre, Himakawa, Hilda, and Thurichi introducing themselves and all that. Um, and they were like just talking about, and it seems like Everyone seems to be ignoring them. Uh, like, um, like no one's making like, "Hey, why have you got a naked baby on you?" Like nothing like that. And they're looking for the entire school, and it's so like posh. Like, and what happens is like they they go to this vending machine, and they're saying like, "Oh, look, this has got um." all sort of stuff I don't like, oh, French courses and all that, like, caviar, and it's, like, free and all that, and Thurichi presses one of them, and, like, an entire chef and, like, butlers come out and serves him just posh cuisine, <laughs> like, and it was so funny, like, and even the chef came out, they're saying, this is a Bordelais, it's 84 years, and it is a juice, and it's, Thurichi was enjoying it so much, it was so funny, and what happens is, like, um, these guys talk to, um, Himikawa, like, these, these guys are, like, what he know from, like, his old, uh, when he came here last time, he's saying, like, um, like, where have you been all this time and all that, saying, like, oh, I'm only here just for a little while to do some business, and saying, what school did you go to as well? And they talk to said Ishiyami, saying, that's, that's hilarious, it's a scum school, just laughing, like, like, since they're bet thinking they're better than everyone, and, like, Ogre just wanted to whack him one. Like, and he's, like, and he McCow actually stopped saying, don't waste your time and all that, and what happens is, like, they start talking to Thurichi, saying, you're a delinquent as well, like, and you know, he's, he's the thought he said, he's, like, how is our food, is it good? He's, like, yeah, very good, and he's laughing, and he smashes his face in the food, and Ogre just have confronted him. He's, like, that's it. And this guy pulls out a knife, and he goes to slash him, and, like, he just dodges it, barely. And he's saying, like, um... He's like, follow us, Himikawa. Like, Mr. Kugayama wants to speak to you. Like, who's Kugayama? And he's like, why did you stop me, Himikawa? I could have flattened these guys, like, in three seconds flat. And it's like... The reason is because they use... I, I call this the posh boy tactics. It's like... Since their family is a very high influence, they can basically make your family get banked up or, like, out of business and all that. Like, just make them quit their jobs immediately, which is a real dick move, but is a clever way. Since they can, they can basically take care of themselves, but if things get a little hairy and all that, they can just use their family's influence. And what happens is how they settle most of this if there's, like, a fight club underground the school it's called the San Marks FC underground and wow it's a, it's something sponsored by Kugayama and what happens is like saying like um the guy in threatened ogre in there like do you, do you fancy a round in there like I promise you won't come out healthy and they're saying do you get it now how much of the gap between you and Kugayama is like heaven and earth and the guy actually comes out himself Kugayama um who, I like the look of him, like, he looks interesting character, he comes around with, like, two of the burliest bodyguards ever, um, and it's like, uh, what I'm thinking is that these two are, uh, like, probably business partners or something, is what I imagine, like, they're, both their families are, like, business partners or something, and they had to be, like, really friendly to each other, and they eventually became friends, however, probably something to do with money caused them to had a big separation in their life. I, I don't know. Like, this interests me. This arc looks interesting. It, like, uh, going to this new school and all that. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this chapter and all that. Like, I'm looking forward to see what the connection between these two are. Um, I'm glad Himikawa is getting a bit of attention. Like, out of all of, like, um, Ishiyama's strongest, Himikawa is uh, my favourite and all that. Like, and I like, like, since, like, a lot of the arcs recently have either been focusing a lot on Cornida um, or, like, someone else. So it's nice to see that Himikawa is going to get, like, an arc to himself, really. Like, it seems like this arc's going to be a lot about him. Um, 
And of course, like, Ogre's just there to smash some skulls and the hell does ever <laughs> for the boobs. Uh, but tell me what you think about this. Um, I thought this was a very good chapter. I'd like to hear your opinions on it. So thank you very much for watching. This is Sally's Y Panda saying, Strike Like a Panda, Sayonara, and I'll see you next time, people.